All right, so let's see how you can use the pas de bourré to improve your footwork. All right, let's go for it. This video is brought to you by Beyond the Move, the freestyle dance program for any dancers at any levels. All right, so uh, first of all, I'm gonna be uh, showing you quickly uh, what is the pas de bourré in case you don't know it, but it's a very simple movement. And then I will go, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can actually use this to uh, improve your footwork. The goal is not necessarily to understand how to do the, the movements, you will be able to do it, but in, in case, in, instead it's just understanding the mechanic of the movement so that we can start playing with it in our freestyle and ultimately improving our footwork, okay? So let's go for it. So Pas de Bourré is a very simple move, is basically you step back, right, here, here, right? Then you do on the other side, like that, and then you sit here, all right? Once again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay? So that's the part of the bouquet. So it's a very simple movement, like I said, and I'm not gonna be spending way too much time on that. Now, that being said, what can you do to improve this? So what I like to do is when I see a movement and the goal for me is to understand the mechanic of the movement. Once I understand the mechanic of the movement, then I know how I can integrate you know, uh, this movement into my, my natural way of moving basically, right? So when I do the pas de bourré, I try to understand what are the patterns that I keep seeing when I'm doing the pas de, the pas de bourré. So um, first one is here. When I do this, I realized that one of the pattern of the pas de bourré is stepping, right? So I have to step, right? But that's one pattern that I keep seeing is I have to step. I have to step to do the pas de bourré. But there is another one as well that I keep seeing is that it's cross-legged. So I have to cross as well to do the pas de bourré. All right, so once I understand, okay, I see those two patterns that coming over and over again, which is stepping, and the other one is also cross, 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 cross. Now that I understand the pattern, therefore it gives me a better understanding of the mechanic of this movement. Now that I understand the mechanic of this movement, based on these two patterns, now it's become easier for me to play with this movement, uh, this movement and go beyond this movement, okay? So, um, so now let's start, I'm gonna play the music and then we're gonna start exploring with these two um, patterns, which are stepping, 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 and also crossing, crossing my legs, crossing. Crossing, crossing, crossing. And just with these two patterns alone, I can start playing a lot and start exploring my footwork, all right? So let's go for it. So at first, at first I'm only just focusing mainly on the patterns, all right? So stepping, stepping, and also crossing, all right? and. Here, I'm just exploring. I'm not necessarily um, playing with the music that much at the beginning. I just want to find different ways to play with these two patterns, you know? And really just be in research mode, you know? Just be in research mode and see, okay, how can I kind of play with those stepping ideas you know and then also crossing crossing you know yeah and then sometime I can go back to the initial step you know just to really like I said play and explore you know and see all right how can I keep on playing with my footwork just based on those two um, patterns, all right? So, so once again, these are some tedious work 
and they're not the, the most exciting stuff to do. But these little details, when you pay attention to them, this is what will help you get to a higher level down the line. Because when you are a beginner, you can feel like you are progressing fast because there is so much things that you, you, you are learning, learning, learning. But after a while, you kind of hit a plateau because you feel like, yeah, but I'm not improving as much as before. And this is when you're gonna, the, the, to me, the real work starts because now it's all about details plus details plus details plus details that will make the difference and will keep you in the progress mode all the time. And the thing is, you're not, you're, th those details are not always obvious, you know? And this is why myself, I'm here to kind of uh, guide you in that, because once again, to help you identify those little details. Sometimes they're not very excited to do, exciting to do, but working on them will help you, you know, develop your freestyle dance when you feel like you hit the, you know, this kind of plateau, right? So just tapping like this, you can be thinking, mm, yeah, but there's nothing special with that. You know, I can't, you know, be, you know, doing this for 30 minutes. Come on, Nikia, it's too boring. But once again, the, like, like they say, the devil is in the details, right? So the thing is, when you see that, okay, this is too simple, what can I do with this, is the opportunity to tap into your creativity and start exploring more because tapping can be a lot. You know, stepping can also be connecting to your, to connect it to your upper body and all of a sudden you see, you find a whole new dimension of how you can step, you know, and then also cross legged at the same time and you start exploring your way of moving differently. You see what I mean? So that's what we are looking for. And that's why I'm sharing those type of little details, but also do not overlook them. Okay. So now I'm going to be doing a demo where I'm just gonna play with those two patterns to see how I can, you know, kind of, uh, uh, yeah, just do a, a footwork, um, a freestyle, mainly footwork, right? Just with these two patterns and see what I can come up with, okay? So let's go for it. No stress from before with any excess and the X's and O's A cold world, but as long as we know before we step in the cold See, yes, that's it. And thank you guys. I'm saying thank you because because of you, I'm also practicing on a regular basis, you know? It's just like a win-win a situation for me. So yes, I'm sharing, but indirectly, you are also helping me to keep pushing and to keep working on my craft as well. So thanks for that. 
and I hope you find value from this video. And once again, if you like to work with myself and a bunch of passionate dancers inside the BTM community, it's something that you can do just by clicking the link in the description below. And once again, thank you for your time and I'll see you next time. All right, so stay focused on the details and don't overlook them and don't take them for granted just because it's a simple thing, just like a step. Go for it, do it, take the time because this is how you will still stay in progress mode and also keep progressing over and over again because you are willing to do the things that most people don't want to do because they look or maybe they sounds too boring. Okay, so let's go for it and I'll see you around next time. Take care, bye.